What's up guys? So we're here doing an update today on our 50 by 50 barn dominion. And we want to get into some of the framing. And we were just here the other day, we got it started and uh, we're going to be showing you some of the progress here. You want to go under it? I love it. My favorite part, right here. Let's get that steel off the ground. Look how huge this looks, man. When it's on the ground, it looks so small, and then you stand it up, the tower. It's amazing. So during this stage, obviously we're standing the steel up off the ground, and the agenda right now is to get one leg fastened down, and we'll get the other leg Pass it down, then we're gonna brace it off, level everything up, get started off on the right track so that we can stand the next one up. So that's what's happening right now. Okay, so as you can see, we're here on this next day and we've got quite a bit of all this framing standing up. And right now we've got all three of the main columns and cross beams are all put up. And we're going across there and putting all of our purlins as well and leveling everything off and getting this frame ready uh, for sheeting. So. Uh, we've got quite a bit left to do. We're actually going to have a porch on the back side. It's going to extend 10 feet off. So we've got some additional framing that's got to happen there. And we're on this one, we're doing a 8 by 20 lean-to off the front. So there'll be a gable for the front entrance and uh, a lean-to off the front side. And then overhead doors that come straight through the middle of the shop. So half of the building will be uh, the living quarters and half of it will be the shop area. So you got 1,250 square foot living, 1,250 on the shop. Um, I think that's the best of both worlds right there. So what are you about to do next after he puts this part on? We're going to finish all the roof and try to get it done uh, with this big old machine and try to uh, make it happen. Go across there? Yeah. We're going to do the, you know, the outside first. And then after that, we want to put everything in the So. After we finish putting all these purlins on, you can put the wall purlins on that side, you know? Yeah. And we can do the door frames over there, which Brandon's gonna have to get you some more materials, it looks like, right? Yeah. The porch is gonna be six inch on the ceiling joist though, so we won't use eight inch, we use six inch. And remember, we wanna use the receiver channel right here on the end so that we can cap it off. That way we can get everything airtight, you know, on the living quarters. All right. Because I don't want to cut and have a gap at the bottom. Um, I want to put that cap on the outside so that when we seal all that off with the spray foam, it's gonna look yeah. It's already pretty much sealed. I mean, we'll still go along the edges and put some foam and things like that. But day two, right? Yeah. Me and Mike, day two. <laughs> It's not day two. <laughs> <laughs> on the video, it's day two, man. So, Come on. Okay, yeah. It's not is, bad for two days. This is day two. Yeah, with two guys and, you know, don't use the two, uh, sky track and all that. Two guys and just a pulley, a rope and a pulley. Yeah. That's really all you need. No I mean, what are you doing with this big machine? We never used one of these before. No, not really. <laughs> and now we can let get it. Business has been good, right? Now you got all this fancy equipment.
Was it already broke? Oh my god. Get back up, y'all. What was he? He keep his phone in his helmet or something? No, right. Very good. Oh boy. Watch it, lay. Amigo, you need to. You gotta yeah, test. Like you gotta test that before you start throwing stuff at it. Well, this is what happens when you uh, are seriously focused on work. You throw your phone. Hold on, we got some messages popping up. So it still works. Yeah, it's still working. So, the LG Cricket, not a recommendation for when you're welding up high. This is what's gonna happen, folks. Should have got the uh, bulletproof case. You can throw this thing off the... See? No bueno. Now you need to buy another one. Me? Why? He's throwing it at me. Okay, guys, so that's it for this episode. I hope you're going to follow along on this 50 by 50 build, and we're going to be showing you as many steps and of the process that we can. So thanks for watching. I'm Josh Helm, Texas Best Construction, wishing you all the best.